Boy, he has done an excellent job in this area. You know, you look at his accomplishments, unbelievable, all right? So most of these kids are from these depressed areas around here. So they were glad and happy to see us because they lacked a father figure in most of their homes. And I could see the hope that uh, Mal was creating in these kids. I think what we realized early on though is the needs of the young people was so far beyond just learning to hit a forehand and a backhand. And we asked ourselves, what can we do to, to further their lives, to enhance their lives, to get these young people to focus more on education, being responsible young people, conducting themselves in a certain, certain way, along with getting all of those character building traits that you get from the sport of tennis. We focus on academic excellence. Uh, the students, they have homework every day, 45 minutes, and we have tutors to help them. Our students do better um, on standardized tests and on arriving to school on time and every day. Taking them off the streets, I think between 3 and 6 p.m. every day, they're off the streets, they're in a safe community here. So, and, and, and teaching them how to work with each other, anger management, teach about teen pregnancy, things like that. We have had zero teen parents. None of our girls have gotten pregnant. None of the boys have gotten any girls pregnant. Every single one of our youth graduates from high school on time. That is something we're proud of, but that's a base level achievement. But in comparison to what they find sometimes in their, in their own schools and certainly throughout Jacksonville, well, you know what, it, it is a pretty good achievement. More than 90% of those kids move to the next grade. Unbelievable here in Jacksonville. Unbelievable here in Duval County. Uh, so that's how I measure Mel. He works hard. Um, we've been good friends. Uh, I've always been there to support him. Uh, he continues to do good work. Uh, and as long as you know I'm around, I think I'm going to be a big Mel fan. There's a lot of different reasons I think he deserves the award, but primarily because of his passion for tennis and what it can teach young people and his willingness to constantly give back to the game and to the community, um, the tennis community, not only in Jacksonville, not only our kids and our foundation, but the tennis community throughout Florida and throughout the United States as well. Now that I'm not playing competitively, the level of my tennis has dropped significantly. Um, anyone watching this video, I can still take you. I, I fully understand that and I hope you understand that as well, but my level has dropped significantly. But what I, what I think about is, Tennis brought me so much on the tennis court. Now it's bringing me a lot off of the tennis court. Um, I wouldn't be able to do what I do with my foundation if it had not been for the great sport of tennis. To accept this award, um, I accept it on behalf of every volunteer and every donor who's ever had anything to do uh, with the Mount Washington Youth Foundation. Um, it's, it's, I'd, I'd like to say to all of them, it's, it's well-deserved and I appreciate all of your efforts.